Welcome back to Magical Task Force. Tormentic here, and uh, one of the videos I released last week, I was talking about Wizards Unite support, and I've got a lot of questions about, like, how do you actually talk to a real person, and how is it helpful for you, and I've never been able to actually get anything back. So, I, yesterday, was doing a Dark Five Chamber, and, of course, got the dreaded Force Close Restart button pop-up, and I uh, went through the entire process, got some of the stuff that I spent in the fortress back, but I wanted to walk you through exactly what I did just so you can get an under understanding of how exactly you can contact a, a real person and not just talk to the bot. So the first thing that did is I went into, of course, to contact support and they're asking like, well, can you describe what actually happened? And so I, I did. And then it gave me a, a couple different options, uh, mainly articles of, well, this, this, and this, like fortress battles, things like that. And I was like, no, I, I need to talk to someone. So then it popped up and it was talking about a bug report. Well, you can submit a bug report to help our engineering team. And this would help improvements in the game. You won't get a personalized response. And it, actually at the bottom, it was like, was this helpful? And I was like, no, I, I have another question. And so... Then it came up with a couple other uh, questions, like things that it was asking me. And the big key thing you know, is at the end of all of that, like I was saying, it specifically asks you, did this answer your question or was this helpful? If you click yes, it ends the conversation. If you click no, it continues it. And then it asks, well, what is your next question? It gives you a long list of options. In order to talk to a real person, you have to click other. Once you click other, it will prompt you with, okay, well, I'll get you in touch with somebody, but please list a detailed uh, explanation of everything that went on. And so, of course, I did. And it took about, I want to say, 15, maybe 20 minutes or so before I actually got a real person to respond. And they went through, they, they looked at everything, um, they weren't able to give me everything back, but I was able to get my rune stone. I was able to get, I think like two potent, um, EX potions and a strong, uh, EX potion. So about 24 hours worth of potions I was able to get back. I still did lose, like, I want to say at least three, e uh, strong e EX potions, three or four potent EX potions, uh, probably at least half a dozen healing potions. Um, but that was the process that I used in order to actually get some of it back. It, it is helpful. Uh, it, it was nice to be able to, I guess, get the runestone back, things like that. Um, it, was, it was kind of upsetting that I wasn't able to get all of the items back, but I, I completely understand kind of why they can't, because some people would abuse the, uh, the actual system. The one thing that was a little infuriating to me, though, was that they, and I realized that they probably had to do this for some sort of a legal issue or whatnot, but they were trying to be like, oh, well, bad cell reception or bad internet connection, and I had perfect signal. It was not anything to do with my cell reception or with any sort of internet connection. It had to do specifically with the game and the fortress. Um, I did learn a, a pretty cool trick, though. Uh, from them about how to, if you get kicked out of a fortress, to rejoin a fortress. Um, if like that error ever happens to you, or if it ever ha happens to me again, I know how to actually get back into it. Because I always thought that if you got kicked out of one, that was it, you're done. But according to the person that I talked to, when the little restart uh, button pops up after you've uh, basically had like a critical error, don't hit restart. If you hit restart, it will literally restart the entire game and you won't get any anything. You won't be able to go back to the fortress or anything. What I was told, though, is that if you force close the game when that button is there and you go back into the game after you force closed it, it should either put you back in the fortress or allow you to go into it if there is still time. Um, I haven't had a, uh, an error actually since yesterday to try it, but I was told that directly from support. So like to recap, if the error restart button appears, don't hit the button, force close the app, 
bring the app back up and it should let you back into the fortress to finish the battle. I hope this has been helpful for you though. Um, like I said, you just have to, when you're actually talking to the support to recap, you just want to either hit other or I want to talk to a person. Um, never say that your answer was, or your question was answered because that will automatically end the conversation. Make sure you can be as detailed as you can once you actually get to the screen where it asks you exactly what happened. And then again, if you actually ever have the restart um, up here and it forces you to actually close the game, force close the game, do not hit that button and you be, should be able to go back into the fortress. My name is Tormentic though. I hope you found this helpful. Give the video a like if you have. Subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. And as always, have a wonderful day.